how are you? Hi, What's everybody. Up? Hey, What's up, Sherelle? What's up, Opinion? Hey, Sherelle. Hi, Perry. How y'all doing? You know, I'm chilling. It's Thursday, baby. It's Thursday. <laughs> y'all know I love to work with Opinion. So she's not new. Y'all know who she is. I love working with her. I really do. Uh, so today we're going to talk about Candy, uh, Candy Burris. I wonder if I could say B-U-L-L-E, L-L-Y. Can I say that? Probably not. Candy Burris being a control freak, we're going to talk about that and trying to intimidate and scare people because, girl, you're just wasting your time. Ain't nobody scared of your ass. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the rumors that Porsche's coming back, which isn't true. I mean, if Porsche is coming back and demanding money, you know who's the first person to go. That would be funny if they fired Candy and gave Porsche her money. <laughs> well, I mean, if I was Porsche, I wouldn't come back for nothing less. For real, because she's the real damn housewife. We'll get into that in a minute. Like she well, ain't faking. Said, like she, she said, she wasn't coming back unless they gave her a lot of money. Right. Because she's the real. She's what. She's a real housewife with real money, not using her check to sustain her businesses so they mm -hmm. don't fall into foreclosure. Okay. It per Porsche's the real deal. But I, as much as I want her to come back, she's not come back. And then we're going to talk about how Candy is experiencing the same fate as Nene Leaks. I call that karma. I call that karma because, you know, you went over and beyond, allegedly, to get Nene fired, you know, turned on your own people, and now look at your ass sitting in the corner begging. Begging oh, the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's get started with Candy Burris, uh, uh, striking bloggers. Now, okay, this is a no-no. Uh, striking a blogger is an attempt to get somebody's channel shut down. Mm -hmm. Okay, the newer bloggers, I don't think they know about it as much. I don't think they do. Us older, us old hags. We know how to handle it when it happens. So according to the rumors, and I, I don't have the video. Hold on. I'm that mad I didn't even. Is it on uh, Neighborhood Talk? Uh, is it on Neighborhood I don't, know. Talk? I don't know if it's been taken down or not, but. Oh, it could have been taken down. Okay. So, uh, yeah, because she's threatening him. She's threatening everybody. So uh, there's this blogger. Her name is Jaylee's Corner. I used to go to her channel back in the day when I used to review some shows that she reviewed. I came across her channel a couple times. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's really her. sweet and mild mannered. You know, she's not like me. You know, she ain't going to talk trash to you and all that. And she definitely ain't Perry. You know how Perry is. She's a sweet blogger that just tells you what she feels about the show. Now, she's a Candy fan and she was over on Candy's channel, Speak On It, when she was interviewing Courtney. Okay, I guess something was said that didn't, that kind of would offend people suffering from mental health. Okay, mm -hmm. she kind of said something cold about Drew's sister. She, she said, added, she, said um, she didn't look like the person that had, would have mental health. Yeah, see, see what I'm saying? Like, what, what is that supposed to look like, Andy? Huh? What's this all? How's a person with mental illness supposed to look? Like your crazy ass? Huh? Like the Pekingese? How do tell how does a person suffering from mental illness look, Candy? That's why she had to edit that out. It's offensive. But you know, Candy's not perfect. Instead of apologizing for her comments that might have offended someone, no, this is what she does. So Jay Jaylee's corner said that she recorded it because she was going to talk about it the next day. So uh -huh. Candy takes her original version down and replaces it with the edited version. Uh -huh. Jay Lee's Corner has the original uh, version. copy yeah. version. That's it. And so uh, the neighborhood top picks it up, or it could be the shade room. One of the other bloggers, top blogs, picked it up and showed what was said. Okay. Candy loses her shit because one, it shows me being the pitiful person that I am. And two, how dare you air this 
when I don't want it aired. So she strikes the girl's channel. Right. Opinion calls me and says, tells me what happened and that the girl's still alive right now. When I go over to Jaylee's corner and I'm going to put her link to her channel in my description because she needs to, you, you guys show her some love, show her some love. Um, I go over to Jaylee's channel and she's crying. Oh, you guys know how I am. And she was saying, I don't understand. I like candy. Why would she do this? She's really distraught. So I had to, I was in her chat and telling her how to uh, fix it. Because first of all, that's a damn bluff. You're allowed to show that damn video. It's a bluff. Candy has no copyrights to that. She has no reason to tell you to take it down. She's being the manipulative person that she is. She yeah. uses scare tactics, okay? But you're not the only one. But really quickly, before I forget, if this happens to anybody and they tell you to take their video down, it's called the Fair Use Act. So you repeal it and you say, I was critiquing this video for educational purposes. Plus, um, I'm allowed to do so under the Fair Use Act. And go ahead and copy and paste the Fair Use Act, and it will come down. Because you don't want that on your record. I think they make you go to school. There's some, they, I had a copyright once before because I was devastated, and I didn't know what to do. Uh -huh. That You don't want that on your record. You don't want any chance of your channel being taken down, especially a lot of people. This is their livelihood. So you want Jay Lee's Corners channel down where she you're messing with her livelihood now because she aired something that you said. She didn't make it up. It wasn't a lie. Right. Mm -hmm. You said it. But your word is going to make you look bad. Exactly. Something is really, in my opinion, wrong with Candy Burris. Amen. Her elevator doesn't go all the way up to the top. Let's just talk about some of the crazy things that I feel show a sign of her having mental illness. Because Jaylee's Corner is not the only channel that she's bullied. We've all known she's been bullying me for the longest. Okay. If And, and, and Aaron, House of Aaron actually said, if you don't kiss Candy's ass, then there's problems. He said that, yep. which is the honest to God truth. She has a problem with anybody that doesn't say anything she doesn't like. I mean, Jason Lee just called her boring. For God's sake, she can't even be boring. She was going around on a campaign tour talking about, I will not support his channel and this and this and that. Uh, she has a problem with a lot of people that won't put up with her shit, like Michelle Straight from the ATL. Well, Sherelle, I wonder... I wonder if she's going to be so mad at Jamie. Remember, she had Jamie, that's me, on her channel. And Jamie just did a video this morning calling her out for saying it and played the clip, too. Well, see, ahead, Candy Mary. is very selective, right? Look, the whole thing is, she don't care what Sherelle's saying. She don't care about people playing the video as long as they're not having an adult conversation looking at her ass as being a weird person that she is. Selfish, conniving, mm. a dictator mm. wannabe. Mm -hmm. And you're right about the elevator. Something's her wrong elevator, with her. Something's wrong with her. Her elevator do go all the way up. The only thing is, she's the only one on the elevator because that's the only damn person she give a damn about. Okay? Let me tell you what she did. Let me tell you what she did. Okay. Allegedly. I was reviewing that TV show that Perry calls three eggs and bacon. What do you call it? <laughs> Grits and bacon. Grits and bacon. <laughs> I was interview. I was reviewing uh, the old lady gang, and listen, y'all know how I am. Me and Perry say stuff we think is funny. We laugh. We used to let people come up and uh, say their piece, but you know that backfired. I'll talk about that in a minute. And we just mostly having a good time, and we're saying how we feel when we're watching the show. I could like you on this scene and then you do something else and then I not like you and it can right. go back and forth. You know, exactly. we've been watching this for over a decade. Everybody gets a season and to be in the hot seat, except for Candy Burr. She does not want to be in the hot seat. If she is in the hot seat, 
she gonna get you fired. Okay, uh, Carlos, you talking about my nasty ass sex life? You, off with his head, fire him. Now, of course, Carlos is going around saying he left, but Carlos, we know you're playing the game. Boy, we know you were fired. Mm -hmm. Fire Phaedra, how dare her say something about me? Only to find out. Those rumors are out there, Candy, about you and Todd's freakiness, your nasty ass sex life. It's so weird because Magneta is supposed to be her friend. Did you guys get this? Magneta comes on the show and says that the reason her and Neo split is because he wanted her to do more threesomes. <laughs> what the hell's going on? I mean, what the hell is going on? All of her what? friends are nut jobs. Like, what? <laughs> like, huh? She's a freaky person and she hangs around freaks. Freaks. Okay. You said it yourself, Candy. Y'all like threesomes and it's just a mess. And I can't wait for Todd to leave her ass because any woman that lets you do that at an elevator doesn't go all the way to the top. Because one day, because we can tell right now, he has the hots for Drew. Okay. He requested her. <laughs> to do the sexy, he wants Drew. If you ask me, he wants Drew in his bed, child. He wanted right. Portia too. But see, the whole thing is, I don't see there's no reason that, like, I think eventually something will blow up and that they probably go separate ways. But right now, I don't see a reason for him to leave. That's he, on him. If he, he wants got the to world stay in misery. Hands, most men got to sneak out, creep out to cheat. Mm -hmm. He can just go out and bring his home and go <laughs> to the bedroom. That's and great. trust me. Crazy. Yeah. Where there's Crazy. smoke that's fire, that probably wasn't the first time Drew was in that bed when they made that move. I feel like he has the hots for Drew, who is way prettier than Candy. And, you know, she's single now. He might be making moves. That I would be watching that, Candy, if I was you. I'd be watching that. Like, no. But anyway, she has this weird uh, sex life that she wanted to hide. And here's the thing with Candy Burris. If she does something wrong, instead of standing in her truth, she tries to hide it, even if it means bringing down somebody's channel, if it means uh, people being exposed and talking about the shit that you do, like it ain't right. Candy reminds me of her mother. And listen, I'm not trying to disrespect anybody's mother, but her mother's on television and we got a peek into who she is. Her mom is a nut job, too. They're really mean, vindictive people. You mean to tell me, Miss Candy Burris, that you're going to be on television over a decade and everybody has to say something nice about you? Yep, that's how she feel about it. We say one thing, simple, like you're boring. Off with his head? Now you're on a promotional tour to get rid of Jason Lee? Girl, your elevator don't go all the way to the top. Something well, is wrong. Do you know how many times somebody has said, oh, my God, they love to talk about my wigs, child. They love to talk about my wigs. Mm -hmm. how, Perry, people said things about you. Opinion. Remember when we did the Martell thing? People are going to say bad things. <laughs> right. But do we say, let's get them. Let's take down their channel so they can't make money anymore. Well, and then no one will know my secret. That this I'm a whole nut thing, like, and this is the part about her that most people are in denial about. They don't want to see her actually. Look at her actions. They just want to listen to the things that she tell them on Speak On It, which ain't mm -hmm. worth a damn because she, she only speaking about positive things about herself. And she talked more trash about other people. But uh, when it come around, she can't mm -hmm. take it, right? Yes, and yes. as far as like, look, it's a whole bunch of bloggers that's done ran the same story. But as long as they spend the narrative in her behalf, mm -hmm. oh, go ahead, girl. I'm going to send you some more Lunchables with a chocolate milk and... uh. A mini vibrator, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. do any damn thing to satisfy these people, but mm -hmm. want to bully the people who just have an adult conversation about something, right? Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I don't know what happened, but anyway, I, I want to address this comment, and then I'm going to kick this person out. Uh, Sherelle, you are also being mean. Why can't she be mean? I don't go after anybody's livelihood, Aaron. Right. I don't try to destroy people reputation. I don't say if this person is rehired that didn't do anything to me, but t talked about the rumors, I won't work again. I don't want this person to ever work again. Something wrong with you. All right, uh, Aaron, there's your explanation. Now, bye-bye. Hold on one second. <laughs> Get out and stay out. I don't do that. I, we all have freedom of speech. 
that candy lickers are dumb. I had a blogger. I told this blogger what candy was doing to me. Read her the letter, everything. She voluntarily wants to be a candy licker. Girl, that's on you. If you that damn dumb and you don't see that this woman is demented, is a control freak, then that's on you. But you can't come back over here talking that nonsense. Can't, mm -hmm. Something wrong with candy. People, can you get talked about? Let's talk about Nene Leakes, how she was so happy when Nene was down and out. How she allegedly went behind Nene's back, saying all kind of bad shit to Andy. The karma is real, Candy. Let me tell you why it's real. In my opinion, your ass ain't coming back. They have orders to cut the budget. You're the highest paid person over there without a product. Mm -hmm. Storylines suck. Maybe if you was bringing in some money, lowest ratings in Roa history, why would I bring you back? I would bring uh, Portia back. If they bring her back, your ass ain't going to be there because they ain't paying you that money no more. Now you get to know what it feels like, like Nene, when you don't have a steady check coming in. And I'm going to report on it every single day and talk bad about you behind your back, just like you did Nene Leaks. I don't understand this. Yes, I'm on a show and I get into it with the girls for a storyline. Okay, fine. That's for your job. But in real life, to wish the worst for somebody? Mm -hmm. Something wrong with you. To, yeah, there's racism, there's, there's racism, and then you wiggle your way out of it and act like the coon that you are? Something wrong with you. But now, I bet you'll see that there's racism now. Yeah. I bet you'll see there's unfair treatment at, at Bravo now. Your ass ain't coming back. Now, I, and I used to say, why does Andy always lie to these women when he fires them? Because I'm telling you, she probably blowing up his phone, sending in proposals, proposals. I'll take a paycheck. Take me back. Take me back. Please, please, please. Take me back. Take me back. Because I need the money. Yeah, can you imagine? Ring, ring. Uh, Andy, uh, this is Candy. Uh, hey, uh, hi, Candy. How you doing? Oh, I just wanted to know about that contract because... Uh, I still haven't received it. And um, you got these bloggers out there that, you know, they remain nameless and um, they're really coming after me. And I really need to show the world that I am worldwide. This is what um, she said, Perry. You're right. You're telling the truth. Because she said, I don't know, on some interview, people don't understand that when they get me, they get my family too. We're like the Kardashians. Bitch, who told you you like the Kardashians? Let me tell you why you're not like the Kardashians, okay? Because your ratings suck. How about that? <laughs> Your ratings funny. suck. Not like the Kardashians. I've never seen the Kardashians attempt to shut down a blogger's channel. Not Who at do all. that? When we talk about you guys, that means you're relevant. Dummy, good or bad, that means you're relevant. Because when they stop talking about you, when your ass get kicked off this show, mm -hmm. then you'll understand what I'm talking about. When we stop talking about it, that means restaurants closing, mama grits and ham, all that shit just start shutting down, your man leave. Look, we, in a sense, if anybody should have got a gift basket, it probably should have been my black ass. But then I don't eat no government cheese and crackers, okay? So the whole thing is this, Candy. You can't be striking out because shit ain't going your way. Yeah. But this is how low you go. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to verbally, because hell, you're a YouTuber. You go on there, speak on it, but really you want everybody else to shh on it. Shut up. Shut right. up on it. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think it's fucked up when you go after this blogger, strike the channel, when mm -hmm. everybody's doing it. I know. How bad are you? Now, Sherelle gets it every day. Mm -hmm. But if you can give it, you got to be able to take it. But mm -hmm. I think that's one of your problems because you figure your money can buy you anything. Yes, it mm -hmm. brought you a man. It brought you mm -hmm. a man. It brought you a whole bunch of damn bloggers that's all up your ass. We call them the candy lickers, right? <laughs> but certain things, money, money can't buy true love. Money can't buy you everything. I'm just simply saying, so, I mean, you can roll up, vibrate up, do what the fuck you want to do. And then, uh, of course, she don't understand mental illness. Well, it don't look like mental illness because in her mind, 
mental illness looked like a person walking down the streets with five vibrators yeah. on and yeah. a damn uh, dildo wrapped around mm -hmm. their neck. That's what mental illness looked like to her. It's it's really serious thing because it's something that people struggle with, and you're making fun of it, Candy. Like, yeah, you probably was so harsh about it because I feel like you're suffering from some kind of mental illness because you're a control freak and you just treat people any old kind of way. You use them and then you throw them to the side. Now I've been talking. Hold on, let me see this really quick. Someone threatened Bravo if the cast didn't come back. Three of the cast members, I believe, Candy did that. Somebody. It, you know I believe it too. That's Candy's crazy and too. she's losing her mind because she made all the candy liquors thing that I'm filthy rich and I don't have to work. Girl, stop lying. Stop mm -hmm. lying. I don't believe it. I don't believe you don't have to work. You need that $2 million. You need your money just like everybody need their money. Right. No, that's, but that's, you know, that's, you're that's, not giving us a $2 million performance. As a matter of fact, you were gone half the time. I'm on the road with escape. You took advantage of it. But even if you wanted to give us the best performance, Candy, you're not charismatic. No. You're good with numbers. You're a good sidekick. Be yourself. Embrace it. I don't know what made you think you were the next NeNe Leaks. Girl, please. You are a control freak. Now, I want to give uh, opinion a time to talk because I've been talking 20 minutes. I can't stand the girl. I cannot stand her. Can't <laughs> wait till she's gone. And what she did was just a damn shame. Opinion, what were your thoughts when all this happened? Because thank you for calling me, by the way. Well, I think here's the thing, okay? First of all, I took offense to it, too, because... Suffering from mental health illness, it doesn't mean you look like nothing. Like yeah. people suffer from mental health, they have different things. And just like Jay Lee said, she suffers from it because she has anxiety. Oh, oh I didn't hear that part really. So for you to say somebody don't look like they suffer from, I'm glad she doesn't look like what she's been through. Okay, and I'm glad a lot of people don't look like what they've been through. You don't know what somebody's going through. So when you sit up here and you own a blog that you got so many people in your chat, you know what I'm saying? At that time, anybody could have called it. And because you snatched it down and you took it out, you think it's okay. But as Jay Lee said, this was filmed on August the 9th. You had all these weeks to edit it. You edited yourself mm. and you put it out. You mm -hmm. premiered it out. Mm -hmm. So evidently in your mind, you thought it was okay. You put it out there for people to look at. And then you're mad because we have a comment about it. Or that you offended somebody. What you should have said was, I'm sorry if I offended you. That's exactly. what you should have said. But That's you was too narcissist. You was too narcissist to say that. Y'all, you was too uppity to get up on your platform and say, hey, I apologize for yeah. hitting somebody. Mm -hmm. But then you make an excuse. She mm -hmm. got on her Candy Cody Live, and that was recorded too. She got on there and tried to, you know, say, oh, well, Drew lied so much. I just didn't understand, you know, why everybody was after me and all this. She made it. She, she tried to double down and, and make it like everybody's on top of her. No, effect, uh, except the fact that you offended people because there are a lot of people that deal with depression, mm -hmm. that deal with anxiety, that deals with um, schizophrenia. Mm -hmm. All these are mental disorders. Mm -hmm. You can't take what somebody say and then say, oh, well, it looks like something. Everybody mm -hmm. don't look the same. Mm -hmm. We were all created equal, you know, equally but different. Mm -hmm. And it's just the simple fact that you can't just put that off on somebody. So yeah. for the fact of me, I feel like this. You didn't even say you were sorry. You didn't say, mm -hmm. hey, I'm sorry if I offended mm -hmm. you. So I feel like you're not sorry. Mm -hmm. You might as well left it up there. What you took it down for, if you're not going to say, hey, I made offensive things. I said this. I, I should have been more vigilant on what I said. I take full responsibility. No, you didn't say none of that. You just edited it out and put it back up like nobody was going to realize it. Right, no, and that's the whole thing. Look, and it's not even so much, you know, because people want to say, oh, well, it wasn't that bad. Look, we all have misspoke. Things got taken out of character or whatever. But Candy's natural problem is she never owned anything. Mm -hmm. She tried to sweep it, hide it under the rug, mm -hmm. whether it's through an edit mm -hmm. or whatever. But like Opinion said, most people ain't looking at her saying, well, damn, okay. She's naive about that or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just apologize. 
Mm-hmm. That's all you had to do. Mm-hmm. But uh-uh, not the not the queen princess worldwide. <laughs> right? Girl, I worldwide. I worldwide. You you need some help, Candy, to have that much to want to be in control that much that somebody can't even say they don't like your dress. Bring the channel down. Oh, uh, Candy had a a spot on the floor. I mean, girl, and you're not perfect. There's a lot of shit we can talk about. Your own daughter said you ain't never home, AKA you ain't a good mom. You more try to conquer the world than you are conquering your damn family. That was on the show. I would be mad about that instead of some comment you made that really offends uh, people that suffering from mental health. Now, I want to say this piggybacking off of opinion. <sighs> mental health is real. It's not their fault. And they shouldn't be shamed in, in thinking that something's wrong with them. It's not your fault. I that you got to look a certain type of way. I, I feel like in that sense, she was saying, oh, she didn't look crazy to me. And and that's what people get a lot of times when they say they suffer. And that's the reason why people are so scared to say, hey, I suffer with mental health. Because they're scared of how somebody's going to make them feel. And let me tell you something. If you're suffering with mental health, don't let somebody else make you feel like you are indifferent yeah. or that you're not worthy or you're not special. You are amazing the way you are. You have the issues you have because of the circumstances that has come up in your life. But that is not the end all and be all. If you are suffering, get you some help and mm-hmm. live the best life you can because this is not the end. Well, Perry, what do you want to say with people that suffer from mental health? Oh, no, I would just say, no, that, that's a v- very serious thing. I mean, mm-hmm. but for a person to just want to just go off looks, right? Like, mm-hmm. looks don't give you the full picture, right? Like, most people look at Candy, think successful, businesswoman, all that, but they don't see the real truth, which is a fraud. Mm-hmm. That's why they all love her fake ass, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't just go off looks, but you need to go off actions. Because Mm -hmm. a person that's worldwide (laughs) and all this, that get all these little candy liquors all over the place, Mm -hmm. should have more responsibility. Yeah. When you take a misstep, just take a step back and just say, hey, you know what? I'm sorry. It would have been done with. That came out wrong, or I didn't mean to offend anybody, or, you know... I didn't know then what I know now. When you make a mistake, be accountable. Mm-hmm. Be accountable. And instead not, of being not accountable. Candy, Don Juan, Carmen with the slash on her face, Mama Joyce, the two mean sisters. Nobody wants to watch that. It's not cool. Todd is like a K's dog that's not allowed to do anything. You know, you, you talk about, you get your family. Listen, nobody on your, in your family is television worthy except for Patrick. The rest of you are mean and boring. Damn. Sorry. Oh, and that's my opinion. And guess what, Candy? I'm allowed to say that. Yeah. I mean, we got our opinions like she got hers. And mm-hmm. she's a YouTuber too. Yeah. And, but now she even come up with, speak on it as, everybody speak your mind. No. As soon as somebody say one bad thing or one small criticism of the world uh, worldwide chick, she gonna be Don Juan, Don Juan, out with the peasants, out with the peasants. Look, you can't control the world, Candy. Yeah. You you you, you might want to focus on just controlling your household, your messy and, household. And if you don't get this damn Bravo check, if they don't bring your ass back, you better worry about controlling Mama Grits and Ham. <laughs> That's what I want to talk about really quickly. So there's stories going around saying they're going to bring three people back. Um, they're going to bring Portia back and it's all over the place. I feel so. Listen, the reason that Bravo started working with Love B. Scott in the first place is because he was breaking stories that they didn't want out there. This is what forced them into working with him. So it's almost, it was nothing they could do about it. His connections was giving him the scoop and he was giving it to us. So some people say, oh, he's not working with them anymore. I don't know where you guys got that. He also said that 
and he's not qualified to run the reunions on a cast full of black women. Not saying that anything's wrong with Andy, but you don't understand the culture. Even B. Scott had to stand up and say, it's hard to run a show if you don't understand the culture. I can't run a show about a bunch of Jewish people. I, I, I don't know, no, no, what, Shabbat or something? I, how would I know? It could come off as racist, but you just don't know. Right. So know what you don't know and be smart enough to fix it. And uh, I agree with B. Scott. I think B. Scott would run a way better reunion than you do. It's awkward when you talk about colorism. You don't know. You don't know. So it comes off weak and nobody walks away from the conversation feeling better because you don't have anything to add to it. If we got these women fighting and saying you're being colorist to me, you don't you can't bring healing to that situation because you don't know. Right. So stop getting so offensive when people call you racist. That means you don't know. Yeah. You're going off what you read in some book or what some friend and told you. You're not a black woman. And Candy, for you not to stand up to black women, for black women, with your selfish ass, you only worried about yourself, karma going to come knocking on your door real soon. That's because, the key. You, know, you made fun of Nene. Now your day is coming. Your day is coming. If they bring Portia back or not, your ass ain't going to be there. They're going to pay Portia your money. <laughs> if she don't come back and you ain't coming back as a friend of the show, like, girl, it's a numbers game and you're taking it personal. They had the lowest ratings in history on your watch. You had no storyline. And you mad because they're saying this at this point, we're losing too much money on her ass. It's a right. numbers game. It's not personal. That's what I try to tell the stupid bloggers. It's a numbers game. They up there talking about, oh, they should have gave them a second season uh, because uh, it's sweet 16. Life is like sweet 16. Everything better. Than sweet 16. No, life ain't ran like sweet 16. Uh -huh. Life is ran like the stock market. OK, <laughs> if you can get insider trader information, the better it is. It's like people ain't caring about each other. They worried about their money. They don't give a damn about you. Candy don't care about you or nobody else. She worried about her money. And everybody is. Kenya worried about her money, but is she running striking people's channels? Everybody on that show worried about their money. Which is nothing wrong with that. But when you take it to a mental health level and start trying to get other people's checks stopped, mm -hmm. now you got a problem. Girl, please. But you know what, Sherelle, out of all people, right? And now, whether you a candy hater or a candy licker, most people in general say she's a great businesswoman. Would that be a fair statement? That she's I a don't. great. Well, no, I'm just saying like that ain't nobody else no, do. No, she got no, these I, people thinking she's a Lisa Vanderpump, and she is I, not. I get it. I'm saying that she's whatever, right? But she got these businesses. But if she was this great businesswoman, and for you not to understand that what we're saying is if the show ratings suck and your ass is boring and the highest paid, it would be no different than you going to Mama Grits and Ham <laughs> and ain't no customers in there. Why would you hire a waiter? For five dollars and seventy-five cents, when he ain't got nobody to wait on, <laughs> you cut costs. Oh so, <laughs> no offense, you can be the wonderful person outside all this stuff that I see you see you as on TV. Don't give a damn. But uh -huh. you got to go. You got to cut cut pay. And for all these little yeah candy liquors that's in denial. Oh, five people coming back. Candy is the first one. Yeah, just like. These people are probably on the corner of Main Street clicking their heels, talking about it's no place like home. It's a numbers game. What? With these people that take it personal, it's a numbers game. They're getting rid of Candy because she makes too much money. What part of that don't you understand? It ain't got nothing what she said, what she did. I bet you the people at NBC Universal ain't watched a single episode. They don't give a fuck about storylines. All they know is I'm losing money here. Yep, they are. This used going. to bring in this much. Now it brings in. 
This they one. don't watch the show, Terrell. They they eyes going cross eyed just looking at the numbers. Did I make money or lose money? And with that sorry ass show, they lost money. For the bloggers that accepted her bribes, shame on you. You guys are weak. You don't let anybody take your voice away. You say what you want to say. For the bloggers that made it personal, girl, what is wrong with you? It's a numbers game, idiot. It's a numbers game. I'm going to say it one more time. It's a numbers game. She was so kind and so sweet. That has nothing to do with her being fired. She's being fired because she made too much money, just like Nene did. When are you going to get that? Yeah, but I just hate it of... when people are stupid. I hate dumb people. Well, yeah, yeah. You get a lot of people that get obsessive like that. They just mm -hmm. fall in love with the simplest things. I just love the way she just crawled up and laid on the couch. And, and when she passed out the vibrators for Thanksgiving, it's just so wonderful. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> we talking about the damn payroll and her boring ass, okay? Now, if they recorded at midnight, it might be a little bit more exciting. Oh, please. The, all this shit is fake. All of these... Uh, reality stars coming with fake storylines so to keep the money rolling in. And you f dumb idiots believe it. Like, please, Candy probably don't even think about you, dream about you, know who you are. All you candy lickers are dumb. If you're going to be a candy licker, tell the truth. Yeah, the girl is fucked up, can't take a bad compliment, but it's just something about her I like. How about that? And start trying to make her into an angel that she is not. And then what would he say? You know, everybody got fans. Even the Joker on Batman had fans. I'm just going to say this. When we say that candy liquors are dumb, we're not referring to, to a general candy fan that can read between the lines. It's the ones who got the blinders on that can't see that went and doubled up and put two blinders on because they refuse to hear it. They just click in their heels. Like I said, it's no place like home, no place like home. Wake the fuck up. Pay your damn cable bill. And open your damn eyes. Child, no, I'm Candy, tired of it. Candy's a hot ass mess. Going after bloggers is just a stupid thing to do because we're just doing our damn job. You can't stand being talked about or laughed at. Child, she she going after everybody. Oh, she don't like Michelle from the ATL. She don't like Jason Lee. She don't like Sherelle's work. You don't like the people that won't let your ass control you them. Well, that's pretty much that's how I go. That's why she got Don Juan. And Don Juan, you're a joke. <laughs> you're a joke. You're a joke. You're a joke. But all of this writing people letters and candy. Girl, I can't wait till you leave. I can't wait to never see you again. Go. You have messed up the franchise as a whole. I mean, you you think you're the only person we call boring? I remember calling one of my favorite bloggers, I'm my favorite housewives, Shannon Bador, boring. Oh, she's boring. She, and then the way she handled that divorce. And she was an open book, the sadness, the drinking. Then I was like, damn, you know, I misunderstood her. But you don't even wait for that part. Boring, off with their heads, fire them all. Don't, yeah. you know, like, girl, I, I'm so, and yeah. now after this, you got to face all them enemies you made. Hey, yeah, Carlo, we, what's up? And we called Cynthia boring for years. She she didn't have her ad, non singing ass on speak on it, talking about that. <laughs> like, Boring is not bad. Like, we have said some awful things about Lisa Renner, which were all true. In my opinion, that's how I felt. Lisa Renner, you're toxic. And now, you know, you're getting what you deserve. You remember how you treated LVP? She's in mourning and you wanted to come at her. Who does that? But anyway, you think you're the only one that gets talked about, Candy? You're using alleged troll farms. That's when you know you've lost your mind. What, what you need a troll farm for? You know, the rumors out there, you, you you hire troll farms. Is that true? Candy, Burris, that can't take any kind of criticism. Is that true? Because if it is, that's sad and pathetic. Now, we know, y'all, the, all the housewives got reputation for using the troll farms. You know, Lisa Renna. I forgot who was. Uh, Erica Girardi. Uh, that whole thing. New Jersey. New Jersey, too. New right? Jersey. Yeah. Teresa, I love you. But, you know, the word is out that you use troll farms. I love you, girl. But... Don't you no need for a troll farm. No need. Yeah. Just live your life. That's all we're asking y'all to do is live your life. Stop going after bloggers because they called you boring. Child, you are a hot <laughs> ass mess. Uh opinion, what are your last words? Because I'm about done with this whole. I just feel like here's the thing. Okay, we all watch these shows. If you don't want somebody to have an opinion on you, 
don't put your butt on TV. <laughs> we're all human, and we're all going to have an opinion. And we're not always going to always agree. But we can uh, agree to disagree and be respectful at the same time. But I feel like this is getting to the point where it's not being respectful. It's not being... You're not letting people have an opinion. You're saying, hey, if you don't think like me, if you don't like me, then I'm just going to strike you. I'm going to cut off your, your your sense of employment. You know, some people are using this as a job. Like, why would you do that? You claim you one of those ones that like to uplift people, then uplift them. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. And, and for those people that she copy strikes or anybody who copy strikes, you're allowed to use other people's video. It's called the fair use act, but you must appeal it. If you don't appeal it, it will stay on your record. And then you are really can lose your channel really quickly. So file an appeal. When it gets to the part that they talk about the reason you think it should be gone. You talk about all I was doing was critiquing the show. Cause that's all you were doing or the video. And I'm allowed to do this and then copy and paste the Fair Use Act. And it should come off that day. Yeah. Oh, Candy, you don't like that, do you? I'm telling people how to say they channel. No, you don't like that oh, shit. Oh, sorry, Candy. Real mad. Hope to never see you again. Well, we got three more chances to see this girl. And then bye-bye time. Bye-bye. I, I know why Andy Cohen lies. You probably calling him, faxing him proposals. What if we do the girl buy? You are bad business. You don't make nobody no money. All your shows are low rated and you have ruined Roa. I'm just saying. I'm you to summed it up very well. All right, you guys. Thank you for the super chats. Uh, no, thank you, Opinion, for uh, calling me. I really appreciate that because if you wouldn't have called me, Jay Lee's Corner wouldn't know to file an appeal, file an appeal. And that would have stayed on her record. And then one morning she would have woke up and her channel would have been gone. So uh, that's crazy. Uh, Jay Lee's Corner, I'm going to leave your uh, the link to your channel. You guys show her some love. She was really upset and she did not do anything wrong. And the funny part was she was a candy fan. Child. I mean, anybody can get it with candy. <laughs> <laughs> What's your final message to Candy? Anybody can get it. Well, no, I mean, because that's that's Candy model. Anybody can get it. Puerto Ricans, Africans, you know, that's her motto. Everything's about her. She's that. She's just a horrible. Her, her, her she does pony. something nice for you. She wants something back in return. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Dear Candy, we're a half mil strong. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Also, too, you know, Candy's not the only one with the staff. If you say anything bad in the comments section, you will be blocked. We don't want you here. No way. All right, y'all. On three, let's say bye. One, two, three. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.